You're lapping slower than Lando. Lando is faster. Day to day, let's have your take on it. How will not making Q3 affect your strategy tomorrow? I've heard rumours that you're interested in moving to this team. Appreciate your time. Welcome to Budapest once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. Historically, a good race for first victories with Button, Hill, Alonso and Heike Kovalainen all reaching the top step of the podium for the first time here. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Norris, Valtteri Bottas and Gasly, Perez, Giovinazzi, Stroll and Nobuharu Matsushita, Vettel, Ricardo, Moore and Sonoda. Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Nikita Mazepin and George Russell. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Joe and Esteban Ocon rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish.
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today, speed. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races. And we saw that today with our winner. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. then it's time to see how this result affects the drivers championship max verstappen's excellent result today sees him take over as leader of the drivers championship so anthony davidson who would you rank as your driver of the day there's a few contenders but george russell definitely stood out i think a really solid drive from him today and one i'm sure the fans enjoyed let's move on to the constructors it was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table meanwhile good work from aston martin this weekend who pushed themselves further up the order. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You've been overtaken in the championship. Are you feeling the pressure? A podium finish for your teammate. Will you be celebrating with them tonight? <laughs> 